hello guys in this video you will learn how you can add different map styles to your google map in flutter in the previous video you have learned how to add google map to your flutter application and how you can apply a different map type on your google map in flutter now you will learn in this video how you can apply different styles different google map styles so open up your browser open a new tab and simply type this url which is mapstyle.withgoogle.com press enter it will redirect you to this page just click on this use the legacy json styling wizard so as you can see we have these following google map themes or you can say google map styles for example the first theme or first style is standard the other one is silver you can see here the result then we have retro then we have dark then we have night and then we have this obergein obergein okay so we have these following themes following google map styles for example also one more thing which i have to mention here for example you can see these roads landmark and labels on the map if you want to remove the extra markers and extra landmarks then you can see you can just uh, minimize from here and you will see the difference okay the marker disappeared as you can see only names are visible also the roads if you want to remove extra roads like the small street roads then you can see okay the result you can see that so it is totally up to you how you want to style it or which theme you want to select and how uh, the density of the features for example roads landmark and labels as you can see these are the labels okay so you can set it from here so what we can do is uh, now what theme or what style do you like you can just select that for example if you want to proceed with the night uh, style night theme you can choose this and then if you want to add some uh, landmark that is to remove extra landmarks for example you can see there are many landmarks which we do not need we only need our own customized markers when the user pick the drop of location select the drop of location or search the drop of location then we add our marker to the user pickup location and to the user drop of location okay so if you want to remove the extra marker you can completely uh, make this landmark to here okay that is at zero and then labels are basically the names which you see okay so if you like the street name the uh, city name the uh, you know like the different names you know like we have subdivision division so it is totally up to you if you want to display landmark uh, labels or not okay i will proceed with the labels okay fully and then of course the road if you want to display or not of course we want all the roads so for example for the night vision if you want to proceed with this specific theme then you have to simply click on finish and it will give you as a result in json format okay this json code it will give you now how you can save this to your flutter project well it is simple you need to come back here and then right click on the right click on the user app new let's create a new folder we will give it name as uh, themes now right click on themes new file and we are going to create a file for our night style or night theme so you can say night underscore style dot json night underscore style dot json so inside the themes folder we have our night underscore style dot json in here now we have to add our theme json code okay the style click on this copy json and once you copy it then come back to your project and simply paste that in here just like this so simple and so easy okay so this is our night style dot json now for example you may want to add other google map styles for later use so what you need to do you need to simply come back here and here what you can do is you can choose any style which you want for example uh, this one dark retro silver or standard okay i will proceed with the dark one so all you need to do is just uh, choose which you want to uh, display on the map in the dark 
mode i have wrote landmark labels fully okay and then i will click on finish and then i will copy the json okay just copy this json and come back to the project right click on themes folder new file and i will create now dark under dark underscore style dot json so you can paste the json code here for the dark theme as you can see so we have add these two styles so how we can apply one of them like among our these styles which we add in our this flutter project how we can apply on our google map and let me tell you again if you want to add further styles for letter use of course you can just add that okay you have to just come back here and for example you want to apply now let's say retro retro will be good okay let's proceed with the retro one and i do not work the do not want the extra landmarks or you can say the extra markers okay so i will now proceed with finish and the name of this is retro remember just copy the json code for the retro theme come back here right click on themes folder new file and i will give it name as retro underscore style dot json and in here i will paste its json code okay which is for the retro style so for example now we have these three themes how one of them like how from these three styles how we can apply one of them on our google map well first of all we have to go to the prospect.yml and we have to add this reference theme folder in our prospect.yml so for example we can say we have a folder by the name themes and whatever is inside the theme folder is that is now the part of our this flutter projects click on pubget so it has been added successfully now we will write the code and we will apply one of the style on our uh, google map so for that purpose in here uh, above the widget build we will implement here a method by the name update map mode or you can simply say update map theme this will be our method name google map controller controller now here we have to get the json file now which theme you want for example these are our three json files which are three different styles for our google map so which style you want to apply we have to access that file using its name so we can say get json file from themes themes is basically our folder okay and we want to get from the themes folder let's for example apply first of all this one which is dark underscore style dot json so i will simply say dark underscore style dot json okay so inside the themes folder we have the dark underscore style dot json file which we want to apply on a google map that style so we can say dot then value and it will be now we have to set the map style on our google map so you can say set map style set map style let's give it proper name google map style okay set google map style in this method update map theme we have to do two things first we have to get json file from the themes and then once we get the theme that is the style which we want to apply so for example we get the dark style once we get that dark style dot json file we have to set that dark style on our google map okay so these are two methods basically which we have to implement now step by step so first let's implement our get json file from themes this method is of type future since we have to wait for the result so future string 
asynchronous and as you can know that to this method we are passing the path to our Google Maps style so that map style path we have to receive here that is this path we receive here as a parameter inside this method inside this variable as you can see the parameter is receiving inside this variable okay this path we are receiving here by data by data we will wait root bundle dot load we want to load our JSON our map style path that is our JSON file so that comes inside this byte data variable list byte data dot buffer dot as you int at list which is in bytes form okay as you int at list and and then we will return the utf8 dot record the list the list which contains our JSON code in bytes okay so this method will return basically uh, the file or you can say our dark style dot JSON in bytes form so we get the theme from here once we get the theme in bytes form from this method we can now apply it on our Google map set Google map style now to this method we will pass something as a parameter and that will be the uh, map style which we get in bytes form so we can say Google map style comma and then the Google map controller that is where we want to apply so we have to pass these two things from here okay when we call this method for example the value which we get as a return or you can say as a result after calling this method which contains the JSON theme style form for example any style which we want to apply for example this style we get as a response which we can access using this value so this map style Google map style we pass as a parameter which is receiving here inside the string type variable Google map style the second thing we want to pass is the controller for the Google map okay so that controller we pass here which is assigned which is assigned to this controller so now using the controller Google map controller we can apply it set map style and our map style is Google map style simple so let me tell you one more time what we do inside this method first we define the path you can say that is which style from the themes we want to apply so that theme path we define here okay once we get that theme as you see here okay once we get the theme that theme is inside this value the result is inside this value so that theme we pass to this method as a parameter which is receiving here which is basically our Google map style okay and the second thing is the Google map controller okay that is the map which is already uh, vis uh, visible here okay on this map we have to apply our theme okay we have to apply our this theme which is this theme okay and this is the controller for this map okay so we want to apply this 
theme on this controller so we pass these two to this method which is receiving here as you can see so what we did here inside this method that using our google map controller we set the map uh, map style for it and we apply that specific style on it now all we need to do is just call this method which is update map theme and to that we have to pass our controller which you already know is our this google map controller so let's call this method now here we can simply say update map theme and then we have to pass our this google map controller which is by the name controller google map make sure to add the null check with it so now let's install the app on our phone to see if the theme is applied or not so the app is running now let's quickly log in and here we go here you can see the dark style from the themes the dark style is applied on our map now let's say if you want to apply a retro style then you have to just provide the name here of the style that is we want to apply retro style so the retro style will be apply on our Google map now you can see the retro style is applied on our Google map now if you want to apply the nice style then you have to just change the name that is we want to apply night style let's install the app again on our phone so now you can see that the night style is applied on our google map so any map style you want to apply all you need to do is just inside the themes folder you have to get the theme that is for example this time you want a silver theme or standard theme or any theme you want just create the JSON for it okay and then add that inside the themes folder by giving it its own name and then add that name here and simply apply it